Good morning, Mr. Jerry and Mrs. Dewi. My name is Ella. I'm from 9C class and absent number is 6. So today, I will use two conventional biotechnological processes in food. And today, I will try to make a block out. The first manufacturing step of making in food 350 grams of wheat flour. grams of sugar one tablespoon of margarine one tablespoon of fermented yeast four clicks and half teaspoon of baking powder then pour 150 ml of fresh liquid milk into the dough, little by little. While stirring. Evenly distributed, make it using your hands. But make sure your hands have been well clean. The dough is like this. Let's stand for about an hour or until the dough expands and cover with a cloth. If the dough has expanded like this, the second step is to take a little dog from a from ship. Then give the filling according to what you want. If the dog has expanded, the third step is to prepare a container for steaming the dog. Make sure that when the dog is to be steamed, the steam water must be boiling. And give the cloth to cover the steamer. Its function is so that water that will expand to the lid does not fall on the dog. Put the dog into the container steam. So, the bubble is done. Pembuatan roti memanfaatkan perisa fermentasi yang dibantu oleh Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Fermentasi yang dilakukan oleh Saccharomyces cerevisiae menghasilkan banyak gas karbon dioksida dan sedikit alkohol. Gas karbon dioksida akan membuat adonan roti mengembang. Sedangkan alkohol akan menghasilkan aroma khas pada adonan roti. Gas karbon dioksida yang terperangkap dalam adonan akan menuai saat adonan dimasukkan ke dalam oven, sehingga membuat roti semakin mengembang dan meninggalkan rongga di dalam roti. Peristiwa ini yang membuat tekstur roti lebih menarik, lebih ringan, dan lebih mudah untuk dikonsumsi.
Sekian dari saya, terima kasih.